So this lecture is going to be on the topic of normal forms. A normal form of a bifurcation is a simple dynamical system which is equivalent to all systems exhibiting the particular bifurcation. So the examples x dot is equal to r minus x squared or x dot is equal to r plus x squared are actually representative of all saddle node bifurcations. Close to a saddle node bifurcation, the dynamics typically look like x dot is equal to r minus x squared or x dot is equal to r plus x squared. Consider an example. So consider x dot is equal to r minus x minus e to the minus x. And let's look closely near the bifurcation at x is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1. So we take a Taylor series expansion for e to the minus x about x is equal to 0. So we have x dot is equal to r minus x minus e to the minus x which is equal to r minus x minus expanding e to the minus x we get 1 minus x plus x squared on 2 factorial plus higher order terms which is equal to r minus 1 minus x squared on 2 plus higher order terms which we ignore so this equation is to leading order in x. Note that this actually has the same algebraic form as x dot is equal to r minus x squared and in fact can be made to agree exactly by rescalings of r and x. So why do saddle node bifurcations actually have this algebraic form? So we pose a more concrete question. How can two fixed points of x dot is equal to f of x collide and disappear as a parameter r is varied? We first present a graphical argument. Now we get fixed points where the graph of f of x intersects the x-axis. And for a saddle node, we need two nearby roots of f of x. So locally, f of x should be parabolic. So plotting x dot versus x for a function f of x, that's what we have for r greater than r critical and that's what we get for r less than r critical. So if we look closely, we find that f of x actually looks parabolic. So as r varies, the function will intersect the x-axis, then become tangent to it, and then fail to intersect. This is exactly what we have in the saddle node bifurcation. We now offer an algebraic argument. Consider x dot is equal to f of xr. Near the bifurcation, x is equal to x star and r is equal to r critical. Now using Taylor series, we get x dot is equal to f of x r is equal to f of x star r critical plus x minus x star times df dx evaluated at x star r critical plus r minus r critical times df dr evaluated at x star r critical plus a half 
of x minus x star whole squared times d squared f dx squared evaluated at x star r critical plus higher order terms. Note that we are actually neglecting the quadratic in r minus r critical and the cubic in x minus x star. Also note that two terms actually vanish. f of x star r critical is equal to 0 as x star is a fixed point and df dx evaluated at equilibrium also equals to 0 by the tangency condition of the saddle node bifurcation. We are finally left with x dot is equal to a times r minus r critical plus b times x minus x star whole squared plus high order terms where a is equal to df dr evaluated at x star r critical and b is equal to one half times d squared f dx squared evaluated at x star r critical. Assuming a and b are not equal to zero, then this actually agrees with the typical examples for the saddle node bifurcation. These are actually known as normal forms for the saddle node bifurcation. The normal form of a bifurcation is just a simple dynamical system which is equivalent to all dynamical systems exhibiting that particular type of bifurcation. Now we consider the case of the saddle node and in the saddle node we can ask the following question. How can two fixed points of the equation x dot is equal to f of x collide and then disappear as a parameter in the system is varied? Okay. And so what we did was we offered two arguments. We offered a graphical argument and then we offered an algebraic argument to basically deduce the normal form of the saddle node bifurcation. Of course, the saddle node is just one particular type of bifurcation and there are other types of bifurcations as well. And so each bifurcation would have its own normal form and we'll study other bifurcations later.